Well, somebody's weekend just got absolutely wrecked. It wasn't mine, and I hope it wasn't yours. Uh, and we just get to sit back and watch the show unfold. Log4j had a massive exploit, and there's a couple things that are kind of fun about this one. And it's probably just because it's my background in where I started hacking, which was video game hacking. And that seems where this kind of evolved. Probably a few script kiddies and kids playing around stumbled across this. And then it's made it, it made its way into the information security realm. Now what's so interesting, and I won't go into the technical details of why this, why Log4j is so weird, because why it would handle LDAP calls and things like that, like this is so weird to me, but it's not the weirdest thing I've seen with third party packages. But right now, somebody's weekend got ruined because they're ripping through their software, seeing if they're using Log4j, and it's insane. Because this affects every ELK server, well not every, but lots of ELK servers, Apache servers, if you're running an old version of Java, because it seems like newer versions of Java, it seems like it's more theoretical exploit at that point. But there's so many things to be interested, which I find interesting here, because it's a third party package. And if you've watched this channel for a while, you realize like my fear of third party packages because there's so many vulnerabilities. But let's talk about some of the impact of this thing because you know right now there's just mass scanners going and searching across the internet for this vulnerability. Like there's been other vulnerabilities like this. Um, I mean, maybe there's been like, what was it? Shellshock or Spectre were probably recent ones, but the last one was struts, like Apache struts. And it took about 48 hours for us to realize what happened with that one. Like it was about 48 hours for someone to massively weaponize it. Not just like scan across the internet, but weaponize it. And that's where we got like the Equifax breach. And I think this one might be worse because unlike struts, log4j was used, is used for logging and everyone wants to log everything nowadays, like Apple and Spotify, uh, Steam. Like there's so many pieces of software that might be using this because it's a logging, like one of the best practices of logging and monitoring. And when you find something that exploits logging, there's so many injection points. Like for most web applications, you get a form field and it's vulnerable to SQL injection. It's only, I mean, it's only vulnerable there or anywhere else they forgot to like parameterize SQL statements. But this, it's anywhere you tied it into logging. I mean, your, your only fix for this is A, either you don't use any technology which used this or was really, really well updated and used what is it, log4j2, which is like their second version of it. But if they just didn't do any logging, like you, your best defense right now, just don't log anything. Like that, that, that is the best thing. It's absolute plausible deniability. Just don't log anything on your network and uh, then you don't have to produce those logs if you're asked. So I mean like, what's, oh my goodness, it's, it's crazy when you think about it. Because like, it, it just, it, when it affects, his, affects logging, it can be injected everywhere. So I think we're gonna see like this growth in about 48 hours of where this where this exploit might have really hit, and I think it's going to be weeks before we truly see uh, what what like what happens from this. Like third party packages get we, like no developer wants to program every aspect of their application, so they rely on third party packages. Like I do it in any of the software I've programmed. Heck, even hacking tools that I've built, I don't want to build a something which runs the TCP protocol. I don't want to write software that opens up sockets. I'm gonna use a class or a library. Now, at a certain point though, it becomes ridiculous. Like Log4j wasn't ridiculous. I mean, some of the functionalities seem weird to me, but like I've on this channel, I talked about the, the is even package. One time I was looking at someone's JavaScript code. I was looking at their Node.js and I started looking at their third party packages. And I was looking through their code and I found a function called is even. And I was like, oh, okay. They, so they wanted to simplify their life and they wrote an is even. But when I looked up, it was pulled in from a third party package. So I looked at the code and I'm like, I went, what, what? 
All you have to do is take the number, divide by two, and see if there's a remainder. So I went and looked at their package. And instead of seeing that code, what I saw was the is even depended on another package is odd. Weirdly enough, these are meme, these are meme packages. Like they were created to show security vulnerabilities how ridiculous, ridiculous the third party packages are, yet people still use them in their actual code. So is even depends on is odd, then is odd divides by two and checks for the remainder. But how many other software out there right now they, they needed logging inside their application. So they pulled in a class and that class maybe pulled in another class, which also pulled in another one, which relies on log4j. Like someone's weekend was ruined and this is totally just the tip. I hope you enjoyed. I really want, I cannot wait to see what comes of this one. And again, I'm sorry if I'm like weirdly excited, but anytime something like this happens in the security industry, it's kind of like watching like, I don't know, someone go up and slap a bee's nest and just seeing what happens. Um, yeah, here we go. I will see you in 48 hours and see where the chaos leads us. Thanks for watching and hack on.